Up in the mountains of northern Turkey, there are 38 tunnels between Erzurum and the end of the line, and many are prone to the build-up of ice. I would have thought that a big, heavy, fast train like the Eastern Express would just push through ice. Kesinlikle öyle bir şey yok. Buzlar genelde bizde tünellerin içerisinde oluşuyor. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can see some ice. Because the tunnels are so narrow, heavy machinery can't be brought in. So the men have to smash through the rock solid ice by hand. I just didn't expect anything like this amount of ice. It's incredible. And it's all basically coming from the, the ceiling and the side of the rocks of the tunnel, where spring water is just frozen overnight. Look at this stuff here. Look at this great stalactites hanging down. They could, really could go through a train window and cause chaos, spear the driver, spear passengers, whatever. If they didn't do what they do, the train couldn't possibly get through. Look at this. With the dough due in a couple of hours, they have to get this job finished. These guys reckon they shift about 50 tonnes of ice each year. I can't help thinking, in many parts of the world, they simply close the line for winter, but not here not on Ataturk's Eastern Railway. Two hours later, job done. The line is clear. When you look around you, do you think you got the best job in the world? Çok zor bir soru. Dört ay insanlardan, sosyal ortamdan, ailenizden, eşinizden, dostunuzdan uzak bir ortamdasınız. Ama işimizin güzellik tarafına da gelince, Sevenleri birbirine kavuşturuyorsunuz, ikili birbirine bağlıyorsunuz. Bunun vermiş olduğu gururdan dolayı gerçekten diğer insanlardan şans olduğunu düşünüyorum. Allah'a da ediyorum bu konuda. Şükürler olsun. Incredible bunch of guys. Top chat. Top machine.